All right, panel, the blindfolds are all back in place again. Mm -hmm. Come on. Good. Will you enter next challenger and sign in, please? We're going to let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what our guest's line is. Now, needless to say, you are blindfolded because we have every reason to fear that one or more of you might uh, recognize our guest. We'll tell you that much. We'll also tell you that our guest deals in a service, but there is definitely a product very closely associated. And we'll begin the general questioning with Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, I would like to associate myself with the product first, please. Uh, is this product something that would be used in the home? Yes. Uh, is it something that, knowing me, uh, as you might casually from television, if not personally, you would think I would own? Yes. Uh, you have a beautiful speaking voice. Do you ever uh, sing for records? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Hackett. Uh, what? If Dorothy was using this product and I came along and said, Hey, Dorothy, <laughs> could I have some of that? Would you advise, would you advise me to take it from her? <laughs> no. No, I think we would have to say no to that, buddy. That's two down and eight to go, Mr. Hackett. It's Preston. a lady's product, I bet you. <laughs> Since our guest is someone that one of us or all of us might recognize, is it possible that you have anything to do with the entertainment business? No. No, not in any strict sense. That's three down and seven to go, Mr. Surf. Have you got anything at all to do with furnishing or replenishing things in a home? No. Oh. Wait a minute. Uh, when you say furnishing or replenishing things in the home, do you have specific reference to furnishings, or furniture no. as such, or are you speaking I have of... either decorations or something that is used, some appliance that is used in the house. Anything that any member of the normal household might use in day-to-day -day activity? John, I can tell you're working up to a no. No, I'm trying to give you a yes. I think if, if your term of reference is anything that a member, any member of the household might use in day-to-day -day activity, with our guest permission, I would say we'll give you a yes on that. Would that be all right? Yes. Would this object that is used be found usually in the same part of the house? <laughs> well, we would agree that uh, uh, it is possible that uh, at some period of its ownership it would tend to be uh, lodged in one place, but this would not rule out that um, it still could be found under other circumstances elsewhere in the house. Well, would, the, would its principal home be the bedroom? Would its principal home be the bedroom? That's a very interesting question. No. We would agree that to the... And you stop me if you feel I'm wrong, because I'm kind of wandering around in the dark here. I would say that in the average home, it would not be unreasonable to consider that to the degree that this is lodged in one place uh, for any re reasonable period of time, the bedroom is a likely place, yes. <laughs> Has, therefore, your product got anything to do with beds or things that might be found in or on beds? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. I really haven't a clue, but if I were at Yankee Stadium this afternoon, and I was, would I have seen you? Did you go to Yankee Stadium this afternoon? No. That's five down and five to go, Mr. Heck. I guess Dorothy was going for that jet propel thing. <laughs> and the guy flies around with it. Now, uh, this uh, product uh, is more or less deducted that uh, you can find a bedroom and it's more for women than it is for men. Is that right? That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, is it something that a woman would use to uh, keep her appearances, improve her appearances? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you don't think I need any help? No, we... <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't say that. <laughs> oh. uh, is this something um, that would be used above the waist? Yes. 
and uh, would this be used above the neck? Yes. Yes? Could be, yeah. Oh, you mean it could be used other places too? Yeah. <laughs> it can be used other places besides just above the neck? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is this something that is sprayed on in any way? No. <laughs> Six out of four to go is fast. Going to give you one more minute. Would this have something to do with the apparel? Clothes? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it, in fact, clothes that you have to do with? Yes. Are you a representative not of American couture, but foreign couture? Yes. I know who Would you is. say a little longer sentence than yes, such as... Uh, Je suis enchanté de vous voir, or something like that. Je Are you French? Je suis enchanté de vous voir. Oh, I'm delighted. <laughs> None of that. What did he say? <laughs> he said, I think I could do a little something for Buddy Hackett, too. <laughs> no, uh, you are a French designer. Right. Yes. Actually, I'm going to... Yes, I That's think so. Fact. Guess who it might be, though. I'm going to throw all the cards Courage. Out. Big Dior. Uh, yeah. Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent, right. Reading up a bit on, on the history, what? the remarkable history, at the age of 21, uh, Monsieur Salon took over the, the house. Let me ask you this. Why did I have to wear a blindfold? <laughs> you think that I would know this fellow? <laughs> <laughs> we never a you. Don't think... you have a feeling that me and him and Phil Forster don't fit in together? Like <laughs> I would say. But we still feel he could do a lot for you if we oh, could just yeah. talk him into it. Now, the thing that tickles me is that Mr. Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent is here because he has now broadened his horizons and he is going to uh, market a perfume which is pronounced E in America. I've already. Yes. But you write it down, why? Why? So we're going to have to do an education thing. Is that right? Yes. You pronounce it E, but it's written down as just a simple No, it's why. pronounced Y. It's pronounced Y. Yes. It's not pronounced E. John, not... you want to start all over again? Yeah, I, mean, I got it all mixed up. It's very late for me to speak English, you know. <laughs> now, you do remarkably well. I know you were concerned about that, but uh, your English is extraordinarily good and you're understanding it. Thank you. Questions from this panel are, are difficult, but uh, lots of success in, with the perfume because you certainly have won all of the kudos that there are to win in the field of couture. Thank you very much. It's very nice to have you with Thank us, you. Mr. Senor. Thank you. The perfume is spelled Y, yes. but pronounced E. It's pronounced E. I, I, the French pronunciation of the letter Y is pronounced E. e. But I think in America we we're, will be calling it Y, or if you like it, y. it, you might call it Why Not. Why Not. Good show. <laughs> we'll, we'll meet another mystery guest in just a moment.